If you're looking to move to North County, San Diego, well, we have compiled a list of the top seven neighborhoods within North County. So I actually just shot a video and had to redo the whole thing. And this is the redo. A little frustrating, but hey, you're gonna get the more polished version of what we have to say. If you're My YouTube channel is dedicated to helping people like yourself move every single day, making it easier, giving you the information and giving you the value. So one day, maybe you guys reach out to us via Calendly, either email, call, text us, get a Zoom meeting going so we can get to know you, how we can help you with your real estate needs. And obviously, you know, we, we like people that like us. So uh, feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions and let's go ahead and get started with this video. And the first neighborhood, neighborhood that we are gonna talk about today is the neighborhood of Carlsbad. This is something that's dear to me because I grew up in Carlsbad and I have very fond memories and I feel really lucky to have had an opportunity to know what it was like to live in this city. Um, so the thing that I love the most about Carlsbad, the neighborhood, is that I lived in the Carlsbad Village. I walked everywhere. I walked to school, I walked to the Boys and Girls Club, I walked to Pizza Port, I walked all the way to the beaches. We had so much fun and every weekend my parents would just take us to the beach and they would just let us go crazy and run ourselves, like, you know, run ourselves tired because they, you know, actually a really smart thing to do now that I look at how other kids are being an adult. And it's one of those things that it just gave me a great childhood. Not to mention that they have great school districts. Um, they have a local library where they offer tutoring, places for people to study, adults that go in there to work from re remotely or just somewhere to escape. And that's what I really love about Carlsbad is that it's just so laid back. The energy is so calm, so cool. Um, some complaints that I do get about Carlsbad is that it's just expensive. And that's just due to the fact that so many people see the value in there. Uh, they want to live there. And so you're dealing with a lot of competition from other states, other people within the city of San Diego who move their way up and then move to Carlsbad. Such a beautiful place to be a part of. So if you're looking for a place that's laid back, let's just cover the fact that you don't have to live in the village to be in Carlsbad. You can live, little, uh, live a little east of Carlsbad. The old Carlsbad um, is what we call it. And there are some affordable options. There are some townhomes, some condos, some starter homes for families to get, their, get themselves you know, on the working ladder to get to that perfect home. Um, I have some clients who just bought their very first home who were military that were stationed in Oceanside and they got a great deal. They were able to negotiate. Uh, get a reduced price and they're within, within walking distance to the school nearby. So that's just something that you don't get in a lot of places and they're in Carlsbad. When you tell people that you're in Carlsbad, they know you're living a good life. The second neighborhood that we have is in Escondido and specifically the San Pasqual area. And that's where we're actually at right now. We have, we're in a Kit Carson Park, really beautiful park where you have a little league going on, you have some birthday parties going on around me and you have new playgrounds. And really this area is set up for families who are looking to grow from, you know, when they have their kids as toddlers all the way up to the age of 18. You have everything from ele elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and you can keep them all within Escondido so they have one stable place to live. And what I love about Escondido is that there's, it's very relaxed, especially in this area, it's really relaxed. I think a lot of people have a lot of negative connotations to Escondido back then. Um, Escondido as a whole isn't perfect. You know, there are parts of Escondido that are a little bit more rougher around the edges, you know, homes that are outdated, they're not as well maintained for, but slowly over time that's gonna change. And we've seen that with the San Pasqual area. It's been, you, you can find some really spacious, big homes with huge lot sizes. So if you're looking for something to really grow into, this would be a perfect area to start. Not to mention the fact that you have the safari park really nearby. So all you gotta do is a quick little drive, go look at all the animals and then call it a day and go back home. Um, so over time, if you're looking for, you know, an area like that where you get, you know, enough space for yourself, for your family to grow into, I would recommend Escondido. So other, you know, and just to give you some more information on Escondido as a whole, on Grand Avenue, they have car shows where you know people get together, they have community events, they have farmers markets, they have local small businesses that really support the community. The community does the same thing. And you can find Facebook groups on everything Escondido uh, where you can actually have locals tell you about everything that's going on or some of the issues that they encounter or things, changes that are going on with the city locally. Um, it's just something that, where I think if you're looking for that community involvement, you'll find that here in this place of Escondido. 
Hey guys, my name is Randa. I work really closely with Danny. I've helped a lot of his buyer clients relocate here to San Diego on the finance side of things. I do mortgage loans here in California. And I wanted to give my perspective on Rancho Bernardo because that's actually where I grew up. It is considered North County, but honestly, it's right in the middle. It's a little bit more south than Escondido, and it's still a part of the San Diego city zip codes. So you're about 20 minutes from downtown, 15, 20 minutes from the beach. I grew up always going to Del Mar. Um, and the school districts here are really great. You're part of the Poway Unified School District, so a lot of resources, a lot of funding for sports, arts, um, different programs for, you know, maybe you have kids that have things going on at home or special needs programs. The school district is just really awesome. I feel really blessed that I was able to be raised in this community. It's really great for families starting out. It's quiet. It's considered a little bit more suburban. Um, and there are parts of it that are considered a retirement community. You have 55 and up neighborhoods, different retirement homes. And a lot of the homes in this area are older. There's not a ton of new developments, but a lot of single family homes, a lot of condos, um, and you have Oaks North golf course right in your backyard. There's also a lot of shopping centers. You have these little subsectors of Rancho Bernardo. So there's things like Forest Ranch, which is brand new communities, pretty big homes um, and brand new shopping centers. You also have Carmel Mountain that has a lot of different food places, a movie theater, um, and some of my favorite Mexican food. It's at this place called Jalapenos right in Carmel Mountain. Um, so I really loved growing up in Rancho Bernardo. Next to Rancho Bernardo, you have Poway, which is actually its own city. So a little bit more east, kind of on your way to the Ramona Julian area. Those homes are pretty spacious, more land, um, and you have something called the Old Poway Park. There is an old train that runs through it. Really beautiful day um, and area to spend time with the family. And my mom actually grew up in Poway, so we were kind of here my whole life. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move a little bit more back to the West Coast, kind of West Coast-ish, I, I guess you could say, La Costa, which La Costa is actually, that's how we say it here, right? But it's actually Spanish for the coast. And the beauty of being in La Costa is that you have a place that's really well maintained. The roads are great. Uh, you know, there's a lot of greenery, which for San Diego standards, it's really hard to find, especially if you're comparing it to other places around you know, the United States where you, you might have Idaho that has a lot more greenery or Colorado or South Carolina. It's really nice to have greenery here in San Diego. So La Costa has, there's no shortage of this. Um, you have townhomes, you have condos, you have single family homes. Um, really, really, I, I feel like there's a sense of pride in all these homes. So what you'll find is that it's very uniform in the way that they present themselves, especially single family homes. They're beautiful. Every time I drive by, you're always seeing, you know, everything well up kept, everything well maintained. There's the roads are really nicely well maintained. So if you're looking for like that uniform look within a neighborhood, you'll, you will find that in La Costa. With the townhomes and condos, you have to also take into account that some of these buildings are a lot older. So with these buildings, there's different challenges that come across. And this is across the board, not just for La Costa, but also for San Diego County as a whole. Uh, when you're looking at these homes, just take into consideration that, you know, HOAs, you, you want to make sure you take a look at, you know, what they're working with, if they have enough to upkeep the building. The other thing is insurance. It's a big thing. And I found that more often than not, La Costa is kind of hit or miss depending on the building. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do research. I have clients right now looking at La Costa uh, and we've really tried to stay away from anything that has any, any insurance issues, especially because, you know, it could affect them 20% down and if they ever look to resell, it could cause problems. So that's just one thing to know about La Costa. There might be a little bit of a con there, um, but what they really enjoy about La Costa is that it's only 15 minutes away from the ocean and you are not paying the price tag that you would if you were in Del Mar, Solana Beach, Encinitas you get a lot more home, for, a bang for your buck basically, for not so much. And uh, so if you're looking for a coastal community that is relatively affordable, a starter home, like townhome or condo, or maybe you're looking for that single family home that's in a uniform neighborhood that is in a place where there's tons of greenery and you have the commercial spots to go to and you have the parks to go to, La Costa might be the neighborhood for you. The next neighborhood that we have is San Alejo within the city of San Marcos. San Marcos is very vast, but San Alejo often gets overlooked because it doesn't look like it's part of San Marcos. What I like about San Alejo 
is that it is very, it's very similar to La Costa, but just newer. San Alejo was built within the last 20 years. So you have townhomes and condos that look pretty much new. And for today's standards, it's not really much that you have to do with the lay of the land, right? So if you buy a townhome there and there's a few things that you might want to change, but it's not like vastly overhauling anything. It's not anything from the 60s, 70s, or 80s. Cause if you're trying to stay away from the old, San Alejo might be, you know, better, a better option for the new. And uh, San Alejo is really prominent among a lot of cyclists. I have friends who professionally cycle that say that, you know, San Alejo gives them a challenge. It's the best thing to do, to go from San Alejo to Encinitas to take the scenic, rec scenic route along the coast and then come all the way back, which I don't know why you would do that unless you're crazy, but you know, they must love it. So um, maybe I'll try it out at some point. But here's the thing about San Alejo, clean, uh, great neighborhood, perfect place to start a family in. And uh, even for your, you know, even if you're not someone who has a family or maybe you're just a couple who are looking to just kind of set your roots and kind of get to know San Diego, you're not going to, you're not going to hate living in San Alejo. You know what I mean? It's one of those places where it's just absolutely gorgeous when you step in. The energy is great, which is something that a lot of people don't account for is how does it feel when I'm there? And it is a great neighborhood to consider. And last but not least, we have the city of Oceanside and specifically the neighborhood of Fire Mountain. So what I love about Fire Mountain is that it's really close to the coast. It's east of the five and you have accessibility to the freeway. So if you're somebody who needs to travel up to like, you know, all the way up to LA for whatever reason, or maybe you're stationed in Camp Pendleton, it's a really easy drive. It's literally two minutes from Fire Mountain, you hop on the freeway and you go. So if you're worried about traffic, I wouldn't worry too much about being in this area. The other part is you can go down south where you go to Carlsbad, hit all the beaches right along the way. So if you're looking for a change of scenery, it's a great place to be, or just love the neighborhood that you live in. These homes are built bigger. Right? They're, they're, they're bigger for a reason. And it's because they're generational homes meant for people who want to grow into them. So if you're a couple who eventually is going to have their first kid, this would be a great place and to have, you know, a bigger family, three bedrooms, four bedroom homes that are now, you know, built somewhere between the seventies and eighties. And this is where you really, you know, you get the backyard, but you, you're not paying coastal prices because you're not right along the beach, but you're just on the other side of the beach. I actually had a family that came from LA who checked out Fire Mountain and they loved it. They loved how uniform it was. And I think that's one thing that they really appreciated is that every, there's just a sense of pride and ownership. So when you're driving through these homes, they look aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's something that where you can actually feel like you're part of a community. I love Oceanside for that reason. And I think, you know, when you're looking at Oceanside, a lot of people are like, oh, it's hit or miss, or you need to be along the pier. There are little micro neighborhoods that you need to check out. So if you're looking for something a little bit more coastal that's within an Oceanside, but it's not like Carlsbad prices, Fire Mountain might be the neighborhood for you. With that being said, those are the neighborhoods that we have considered North County's top neighborhoods. And honestly, going through a second time, I'm actually considering recommending some to my active clients. So if you guys are interested in getting more content and more information about learning how to move to San Diego, subscribe, reach out to us. I am a real person. I'm the one who responds to all the Zoom requests, all the meetings, all the calls, emails, and texts. So I'd love nothing more to help you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next video.